I think that the cast members would still say, like, I still got it. Like, I can still party with the best of them. Not all the time, but once in a blue moon. <laughs> As she's got a hoarse voice. Don't ask us. A little, like a little bit hungover. <laughs> Just complaining about a two-day hangover. <laughs> yeah, I that's why I can only do it like once yep. a year. <laughs> but when I do, <laughs> I go big. What's up, you guys? I'm Kristen Cavallari. I'm Stephen Coletti. And we are here with Back to the Beach playing a little game called Fill in the Blank. I can't get my morning started without, well, coffee. It's easy. Yeah, First me thing, too. Me every too. Day. How do you take your coffee, though? Oh, uh, usually uh, iced coffee, added shot, a little bit of oh. almond milk. Damn, you're getting and going. depending <laughs> on the coffee joint, if it's good coffee, I don't need a little Splenda, but if it's a, I'm not gonna name any names here, Starbucks, but if it's a kind of a crummy <laughs> coffee, then we'll put a little Splenda. I'm really into pour over coffee right now. I like making it myself. I prefer to make it myself. And then I do a little coconut milk and then a little maple syrup. Maple Try the maple syrup. syrup, it's a game changer. Is this, is this a Tennessee thing? This is a Cavallari thing. My first celeb crush was Devin Sawa from Casper. Do you remember that guy? Little blondie, super the ghost? cute. Yes, he was the ghost, yeah. I will, I'll be curious Freaky if people one. remember him or not, but <laughs> yeah. My first celebrity crush was Britney Spears, actually. I, I used to enjoy getting off the bus, running home to catch TRL, I think at 2.30 came yes. on every day. She was like my first girl crush, so I get it. Oh, God. <laughs> Every opinion I have. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, I don't give a fuck, I'll say it. Well, oh, okay, what's your hottest okay. take? My hottest take is I love a good conspiracy theory, but if, if it comes true, it's not necessarily a conspiracy theory. Let's just say that. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Can you say yours, please, because I'll get in so much trouble. <laughs> uh, okay, my hottest take is probably, I think Starbucks coffee is absolute garbage. I agree with you. Oh, really? It tastes burnt. I think it's disgusting. Yeah. One fashion trend I'll never partake in again is, had I been asked this question three weeks ago, I would have said Uggs. And I just got myself a pair of the Uggs. <laughs> so anytime I'm like, I would never do that again. I always end up doing it, so. My girlfriend just got me a pair of Uggs slippers for Christmas. Yeah, they're very trendy right now. Okay, so there, there was a, a point in time where I wore a thumb ring for a while. Really? Yeah. How old yeah. were you? This was like late teens, early 20s. That's aggressive. Not a ring guy. I don't think guys should be a ring guy, unless it's like your wedding ring. Yeah, yeah, wedding ring's fine, but the thumb ring, I look back on that and I'm like, that's a little bit painful. I feel like the wardrobe situation, there was never really, I mean, I just got everything from the surf shop. So yeah. I felt like it was, it was yeah. pretty serviceable. It wasn't you weren't making bold fashion statements. Well, but then once I graduated high school, moved to LA and we were, because of the show, we were getting sent all sorts of free clothing. Like mid 2000s, there was some very poor fashion choices but for guys. But we thought we looked great and we did at the time i've actually mm. heard that that like 05 06 era that fashion moment is actually coming back now for girls or for guys i think both it's shit for girls for guys I for don't know. Girls. like the loud shirts yeah and then the like really messed up jeans that had a lot of like a lot of pattern or some sort of <laughs> some sort of you know design on the back of them on the pockets also too many zippers in the a lot a lot of zippers i think the Rest of my Laguna Beach cast members would describe me as a spastic ADHD child. <laughs> um, I got kicked out of a lot of classes right after lunch because of the coke that I had at oh. lunch. It was way too hyper to sit at my desk. So it was like, Stephen, go take a lap around the campus. I think that the cast members would still say, like, I still got it. Like, I can still party with the best of them. Not all the time, but once in a blue moon. <laughs> As she's got a hoarse voice. Don't ask us. A little, like a little bit hungover. <laughs> just complaining about a two day hangover. <laughs> yeah, I that's why I can only it. do it like once yep. a year. <laughs> but when I do, <laughs> I go big.